Hey there, welcome to Call Lawyers. In today's video, we're gonna learn how you can use our WooCommerce Checkout Manager plugin to make your customers' checkout experience even better and more comprehensive. So, let's get started. So, let's see what possibilities and features you unlock when using the Checkout Manager plugin. So, you are able to add new fields to the checkout page. And this could be billing fields, shipping fields, or any additional field. So there is this additional field section in um, uh, Checkout Manager plugin where you're able to add any field that you wish, personalizing your experience as an online seller. You can add new fees to the checkout and you can add these fees to uh, single option fields, to multiple option fields, in the form of percentage of fixed fees. You can add it the core field. So there are some default core fields that you are able to add it using the Checkout Manager plugin. Conditional fields. So you are able to create some conditions, give some values to them. Um, and yeah, play around with this and make it even more advanced. Remove checkout fields. So um, you can edit them, you can remove them. Upload files. This, this one is uh, a really good feature because you can allow your users to upload files. For example, it could be an ID or password for verification purposes, let's say, or any other way uh, that you can use this feature. Then you can edit this uploaded files in the admin dashboard. You can show custom fields in order and at least email notifications. You can also customize uh, when to uh, send notifications, when not to send, uh, on which order status to send this notification, and how to send it, etc, etc. Now let's go to this demo page and check out this. So here we've got the billing details. Uh, so these are some uh, conventional fields that we have. We have this multi-select option here. And then this is, a, for example, if uh, you're shipping to a different address. Now, I want to show you, for example, this add fee part. So here you are able to add fee, 10% fee to the checkout in this case. Then we have this options, again, this radio buttons that we can use. This is for the single option. This is an, another multi-select option that you could use. This is the multi-checkbox. The upload files feature, and then there is more. These are the additional uh, fields that you can add using the additional field section. So we've got a color picker, and then a time picker, and then a date picker. And we also have this conditioning. Here we have. And this is actually amazing, a very unique experience. And we're gonna get something like this in a bit. That's why let's head to the back end and start creating ours together. I'm here and I've already installed and activated the WooCommerce Checkout Manager plugin. And you can find it by heading to WooCommerce and then to the Checkout tab here. So let's get started with the checkout settings. And here you need to answer a couple of questions like forcing shipping address, forcing creating account, simply yes or no. You can add a message before checkout, message after checkout. Let's say the after checkout message would be, hey, you have successfully checked out these products, etc. So once you configure this, don't forget to hit uh, save changes and let's head to the billing section. So here you are able to find all the conventional fields that are usually there for the billing section. Uh, and let's check out this, but first let's see what we have here. Uh, so we have this required uh, section first. Here you are able to make the question, uh, make the field required or optional. Then the position, you can choose the position of the field. You can clear this if you, for example, have made some configurations and then you want to start over, just clear this and uh, start again. You can see the type of the field, the radio button, text, uh, country, we have state, telephone, email, etc. You can see the labels here, the placeholders, the parents uh, and their values, um, the IDs, the whether this is disabled or enabled on your uh, current checkout page, and finally edit. So let's click on edit and see what some settings we got there to edit. In this general, you're able to add the name, most importantly, the type of the question, 
Uh, so let's see what we have here. We have email, phone, message button, text, text area for a bit larger uh, text, password, radio, country, uh, multi-select, multi-checkbox, color picker, file, and uh, we have also date picker here. So many options here, very abundant. Uh, great, you can also set labels here and you can configure the settings as well, uh, like setting a maximum length, minimum length. This does not apply to the last name uh, field that we have here. Let's head to the filter and you can filter the specific field based on some criteria that you set here. Let's say a card subtotal, if it's between those numbers, then don't show this, hide this field, etc. Uh, then uh, you can show or hide this for specific roles, for specific products, for specific categories, product types and subtypes that you set here. Let's head to display and again we can choose to hide this on the account page, on the checkout page, on the user order, on the user email, on the order invoice um, and the price. Of course this doesn't apply to the last thing but again another important uh, a section to consider so for example if this was a home delivery field then we would first check this to make sure that the price is enabled for the specific field and then we also would enter the total number and we would choose whether fixed or percentage this is important um, based on that, you can also use um, and enable this text and this premium feature again. And here, another section is this admin section, where you can make this field listable, sortable, and filterable. And here we've got on this sidebar the conditional, uh, the conditioning option. Um, yeah, so just make sure again to check this so that it's applied to the, that specific field. So here you are able to choose a parent field. Uh, so that it depends on the specific parent field and its value so let's say in this case it could be first name it doesn't really make sense but just for an example so you're choosing it and then you are also choosing the value of that specific um, uh, parent and then based on that it's going to show or hide for them now let's head to the shipping section here and here we've got more or less the same options because the billing and shipping are Kind of similar if they are not different but you still you can add some um, fields here configure this uh, disable enable those fields that you have here but let's head to this additional and create one together so here we are able to choose between those options like time picker date picker then the file as well so let's choose file and then you can choose your label here Mm -hmm. the file limit and then you can also choose the size of course you can add a description if you wish great let's save this and we can immediately see it's added here and uh, it's enabled and we can make it required or not depending on the case great now let's head to order so in this section we're going to customize and manage the order settings and let's get started with this first field that we have at upload files so if you're uh, choosing yes for this then you're allowing your customers to upload files in the order and you can choose the order statuses in which cases your users are going to be able to add those files um, so it's pending payment processing on hold completed refunded failed and you can add more statuses here using this or you can just delete the ones that you don't need here and then you can also um, allow adding custom fields and then again choose the order statuses in which case they're going to appear in the order uh, pending payment processing on hold completed cancelled etc let's head to the email section that we have and this is very similar to uh, what we had in order again here you're uh, choosing the statuses but this time it's for uh, display in the email, showing in the email. And uh, the same goes for this. Again, you can choose uh, the order statuses where they're gonna be able to upload files in the email. Uh, and then you can customize the title here. Uh, again, allow them to choose custom fields and choose on which uh, order statuses that can um, these custom fields appear in the email. And don't forget the save as changes. 
Um, and that's it. Your comprehensive checkout page is ready to go. And that's it about the WooCommerce Checkout Manager plugin by Cloud Layers. And if you still got any questions concerning it, don't forget to drop them in the comments and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you like this video, don't forget to like this, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell to not miss out any of our upcoming tutorials. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.